amylase is a lab that is used to monitor pancreatic function. Its normal value is 30 to 110 units per liter. As you're probably aware, amylase is a digestive enzyme, and what it does is it actually splits starch into disaccharides. So most of the amylase within our body is going to come from our parotid glands as well as our pancreas. Okay, amylase is derived from a few different areas, but circulating amylase is going to come from the parotid glands, the pancreas. So because of that, that's why it's a great lab to be able to analyze pancreatic function. Okay, so the reason we're going to run this lab, the reason a physician will or a provider will order this is to assist in the diagnosis of early acute pancreatitis. If the patient's showing, showing signs of pancreatitis, we can run amylase and we can get a, a determination of, okay, is this amylase elevated? Is there something going on here that with the pancreas that we need to investigate further? It can also help uh, with identifying trauma, okay? So some of the big things that we will see it increased for are going to be, like I said, pancreatitis peritonitis, uh, DKA. We also might see it with a, with a pancreatic cancer like carcinoma uh, uh, within the pancreas, alcoholism, and then like I said, abdominal trauma. Perhaps the patient went to surgery, something happened, the patient's not recovering well, we can run an amylase and see, okay, was there inadvertent, did the patient accidentally nick something uh, that's causing this uh, peritonitis or, or the, the elevation in the amylase? It can also be helpful in identifying blunt trauma to the pancreas. Okay, so if a patient comes in with multiple trauma, we can run our amylase and we can say, okay, yeah, something happened here during this trauma to cause uh, damage to the pancreas. So really when you think amylase, you're thinking pancreas, okay? And that's what I want you to think. I want you to think pancreatitis, first of all. Then you can also look at the trauma, which you may not see unless you're working ED or something like that. But for all intents and purposes, you need to be thinking pancreas. Pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer, alcoholism, trauma, things like that. It may be decreased, obviously, in, in situations of like pancreatomy, okay? So if we don't have a pancreas or if we have pancreatic insufficiency, those will be reasons that we'll see it. So a lot of these patients that are going to be having these issues with elevated amylase are going to have gastrointestinal disorders. So those patients are going to be on special diets, right? They're going to be on slow diets. Once bowel return or bowel function returns, we will put them on clear liquid diet in advance that must tolerated. And they may receive vitamin B12 uh, for these uh, gastrointestinal patients. Okay, that's just important to keep in mind. What you need to know simply is that amylase is a pancreatic enzyme. We're going to use it to evaluate pancreatic function, any sort of pancreatic diseases or conditions going on, and its normal range is 30 to 110 units per liter.